I'm Dr. Tharp with the Vision Care Center. Macular degeneration is the leading cause of acquired blindness in Americans. It's an aging disease of the eye, and in fact, is more properly referred to as age-related macular degeneration. The retina is the light-sensing organ on the back of the eye. It consists of two layers. There's a pigmented layer that provides nutritional support and removes waste products from the overlying sensory layer. It's the sensory layer of the retina that then sends the signal through the optic nerve to our brains for processing. If this pigmented layer of the retina becomes damaged, then everything downstream from that becomes damaged as well. Macular degeneration tends to affect the central vision, so patients with macular degeneration tend to lose their central vision, but they hold on to their peripheral vision. Patients with macular degeneration don't live in a world of darkness, and they can still navigate out of a room. There are two forms of macular degeneration. The dry form is limited to changes in the pigmented layer of the retina. With the wet form, there are blood vessels that grow and bleed and damage the retina, and this can happen very rapidly. Fortunately, in the modern era, we have medications that can cause regression of these blood vessels and limit the damage that occurs. Although this is a big development, macular degeneration remains the leading cause of acquired blindness in Americans, so there's still much work that needs to be done to improve people's quality of life who suffer from this disease.